book is called The Busy Tree. It is by Jennifer Ward. Like you can see, look what's on the cover. You've got owls and chipmunks and squirrels and birds and butterflies or a moth. I'm not too sure. So the first thing we need to do is take off our jacket. And on the back, so we've got all the animals in the tree on the front. On the back, there's a giant tree. And look on the back of the book. So usually when there's a jacket, what does that usually mean the book is soft? or hard. You can hear me knocking. Hard book. So we're going to read this book really quick. Hopefully you guys get your packets or you're going to have some fun activities to do. Get ready. I'm a tree. A busy tree. Pun and see. There's that giant busy tree. Doesn't look so busy now, right? These are my roots, winding and long. They anchor and feed me and help me grow strong. So think of what helps you grow strong. Do we have roots? I know, but look at that little animal right there. Almost like a little tiny baby mole. So think of on your body, what helps you feed you? What helps you get big and strong? Look at my acorns, shiny and round, nibbled by chipmunks to scratch at the ground. There's little chipmunks. How many chipmunks do you see in this page? Count them out. I'll put them right there. One, two, three. And look at the colors that the leaves are. And there's a bunch of acorns. How many acorns do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this one's in half. So we'll say seven and a half, huh? Here is my trunk. We're busy and scurry, searching for food as they march in a hurry. Look at those ants. Ooh, there you go. You can definitely see all those ants. Marching up the tree. Do you guys see a lot of ants around here on our trees? Or on the ground more? This is the spider that lives in my bark, spinning a web from dawn until dark. Look at that sun. It's kind of hard to see the spider. Spider web, but you see the spider that dot right there in between those two branches. A woodpecker searches, eager to munch, tapping for bugs. It will eat for its lunch. Do you guys hear woodpeckers around town? I used to have a woodpecker that used to peck on my house every single day, every morning, I should say. Visit my hollow that is that is home to an owl. He sleeps all day long, then at night starts to growl. So there's the moon. Look at that owl. Hanging out till it's time to go out. Find food, fly around. These are my branches, sleepy and high. A sidewalk for squirrels that soar through the sky. How many squirrels do you see on this page? One. <laughs> One. Two, three. Look at those colors of the leaves. What colors are the leaves? Tell your parents. One of my branches cradles a nest. A cozy, warm home where new hatches rest. Look at those little baby birds. All snug in that nest. Uh -oh. Look at this small twig that holds a cocoon. Oh, what does a cocoon hold? protecting a moth that will emerge soon. So this isn't a butterfly, that is a moth in there. Kind of looks like the butterfly cocoon now, huh? Here are my green leaves as they shake in the wind, breathing out air for all to breathe in. That's kind of hard. So there's a leaf. You see that little guy on there? It's a little ladybug chilling on the leaf. These are my bows that creak, bend, and sway, shading the children below as they play. And here comes the little boy and little girl on the swing. A boy finds an acorn I shake from my top among autumn leaves that swirl as they drop. A girl plants a seed, just like what we did a couple weeks ago, huh? 
Look at that. We found an acorn. It grows toward the sky, taller and stronger as seasons pass by, becoming a tree, a busy tree. So there's where it started, that little seed. Make it a little bit bigger. And then look at the bushiness of that one. Okay. And now look at that busy tree. Not as big as the first tree, though, huh? Come and see. Now look at that big old tree. And if you look closely, which is kind of hard, there's the boy and the girl, and it looks like they got older. Just like the trees grow, we grow. So that is the end of this book. Again, it is The Busy Tree by Jennifer Ward. And I will be back with two more stories.